Hello, uh, Jonathan Charles Fox. Uh, Dharma the Wonder Dog is across the room looking at me. I'm not gonna go pick her up. Uh, I don't even know what the date. Alexa, what's today's date? Saturday, May 29th. Uh, I, I just uh, 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 turned this on just in case. I don't know why, uh, because it's what I do now. This is what I do now. Uh, anyhow, I have a box, a big box. I referred to a giant box from you know where. And I kept saying, I don't know what it's in it, uh, but I realized, so this is what happened. A friend of mine uh, went to Binghamton, my hometown, home of the Speedy. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, uh, Google it. Google Binghamton, New York, and Speedies, and see what comes up. It's food, and it's uh, uh, very particular to the triple cities, Binghamton, Johnson City, and Endicott, where I'm from. And uh, uh, the, the best Speedies to get are Speedies from Binghamton, New York. It's probably the only place you can get them. Uh, and uh, I used to go to, um, uh, when I was a kid growing up, uh, we had Speedies a lot, Speedies and steam clams, that's traditional in Binghamton, New York. You can even look up Speedy Fest, I think it's S-P-E-I-D-I-E, -E, Speedy Fest, which is like a three-day fest. Uh, in honor of the Speedy, it's grown into an enormous event, and there's a, uh, a hot air balloon fest, and a, a food fest, all these fests going on, I think in the fall, I'm not sure. Uh, I've never been, uh, I'd like to go. I've been in a hot air balloon with Dharma the Wonder Dog. Uh, maybe this year, we'll, I don't know. I certainly didn't go last year. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, a friend of mine <laughs> heard about Speedies, heard about Binghamton, was going to Binghamton. She said, I wanna get you Speedies. She asked me where to go. I sent her to Lupo's. Uh, when I was growing up, we always went to Sharky's, which is no longer active in the business. Lupo's is, I mean, everybody has a different opinion whether you should have lamb Speedy, chicken Speedy. Uh, lamb is traditional. She asked me which kind. I told her, I, uh, it didn't occur to me she wouldn't get any for herself, but she got some for me and she brought them to me and that's all swell. Uh, thank you, Jamie Schmeiser from the Sullivan County Chamber of Commerce for uh, getting me Speedies while in Binghamton and I'm about to have them for dinner. I didn't want to open the box, the giant box. Uh, I like to be surprised, as you know, but it occurred to me, how surprised can you be when you've ordered the merchandise? depends on what time of day it is. If it's 420, you can be shocked at what's inside. So, first of all, here's these bags of air that I just can't stand. Uh, it just seems so wasteful. But I realized that one of the things inside, uh, oh, jeepers, this is, I'm sure, uh, for, oh, it's a little, uh, I know what's in here. And it's for, uh, it's for, uh, 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 it's for Amanda uh, Reed, uh, Amanda uh, Weissenmuller, knee Reed, uh, and it's a, she loves gnomes. She absolutely loves gnomes. And so her garden is filled with gnomes. I do not like gnomes. A couple of people have given me gnomes. Please don't give me gnomes. I don't want gnomes. Uh, I don't like gnomes. They kind of creep me out. But Amanda loves them. She also has a very, very dark, uh, twisted, artistic uh, sense of humor. She's an incredibly talented graphic artist and photographer. A lot of things. Yeah, good on Amanda. That's nice. Uh, anyhow, I found her a dinosaur for her garden. Uh, th this, this big. I'm not even taking it out. I'll make a reaction video later. Uh, it's a dinosaur eating gnomes, and gnomes crawling all over the dinosaur in the garden and trying to get the dinosaur away, and I thought that that was, but that's not what this is about. This is about Speedies, Binghamton, and me. Not Amanda. I don't know, she can get her own damn uh, uh, YouTube channel. Anyhow, I realized, I remembered, that inside the box was something I had ordered for myself that I really wanted, which is a 10 inch, two layer lid bamboo steamer. You see this again, not a paid endorsement. I don't know who the company is. It says deals or no deals. Apparently I got a deal. And I don't know if any of you have ever used. Is this a reaction video? Is this an unboxing video? This is just me yammering on. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever used one of these steamers. I had one years, oh look, chopsticks. Yeah, that'll do well. I. Uh, uh, it looks like this. It comes apart. There's supposed to be steamer things inside. There better be. Now I have to open it and find out because you can steam more than one food item at a time. That's why the whole two layer aspect. And uh, it goes over the top of a frying pan or a pot, as you can plainly see. Another chopstick biting the dust. I'm hoping there's, oh, there they are. So inside are these weird little things that you put in the tray so that you can put solid objects on it, like a piece of meat, in this case, speedy meat, uh, and the rolls, which I will then steam and it will bring them right back to, to delicious uh, life, uh, just as if I got them from Lupo's 
char pit, I want to say, in Binghamton, New York, uh, myself. So I'm going to do that, uh, and um, we'll open the uh, we'll op we'll open the dinosaur eating gnomes garden thing just to uh, make sure everything's copacetic, right? Is that still a word? I think it's still a word. So uh, it was a momentary blip on your screens, live from Norma Desmond's Catskills retreat here at Camp Fox. I'm Jonathan Charles Fox. Uh, feel free to comment, like, uh, ring bells. I don't know. There's, there's something about all of that I don't really know, as you're well aware. I have no clue what I'm doing other than looking at myself, uh, talking endlessly about a bamboo steamer basket, which I'm about to use. So I'll let you know how it all comes out. We'll go down to the kitchen later and take a little look. Okay, then. Uh, Dharma says hi. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. I'm leaving Norma Desmond's uh, Catskills Retreat sitting room, and as promised, going downstairs. Uh, here we are in the stairwell gallery, very, very well known uh, here in the Sullivan Catskills, wending our way. What are we looking for? Well, we don't want to go that way. Oh, we don't want to go that way. I think we want to go to the kitchen. Here we go. Oh, look. A little bit of glare. Kitchen. This looks like a kitchen. Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, we'll call this the kitchen. Hi. Uh, I'm, now I'm down in the kitchen, as I promised. So, uh, we were upstairs. Now we're down in the kitchen. That's what down in the kitchen means. Anyhow, there seems to be some slight snafu because this came with all this stuff. My steamer, my steamer basket came with all this stuff. Uh, warnings and uh, some of them are absolutely brilliant. I, I thought I'd share some of them with you. Um, the bamboo steamer is not suitable for microwaves. I don't even own one. So I certainly wasn't planning to put it in there. What the people, I don't know. People want to steam things in a microwave? You gotta have a major, I don't know. I don't have one, I'm not using one. That's the story with that. Uh, bamboo steamer is not dishwasher safe. Again, here at Camp Fox, we don't have fancy gadgets like ironing machines. And what did this say, dishwasher? No, we don't got one of them. Uh, so again, not a problem, nor would it occur to me to throw, you know, I don't know, wooden things, I don't know. I guess they have to do, they have to do this for uh, the uninitiated, I suppose. Do not use chemicals or abrasive agents. I wasn't planning to, but I suppose that's, that's wise. Oh, by the way, steam, it says, can cause severe burns, serious burns, steam. Go figure. Don't hold your, I don't know, people used to steam their faces, didn't they? Not people, women used to, I don't know, maybe men did too, don't get me wrong. Steam, steam the pores on your face? I don't know. I'm just a guy who lives in the woods, but that sounds vaguely familiar. Uh, wear protective gloves. They mean a potholder. When uncovering, when uncovering, because here's the, you know, yeah, there's a cover, and it's made out of uh, the same f stuff that the whole steamer is, which is wood, which is going to get wet, which is going to get steamed. Don't put it in a microwave. Don't put it in the dishwasher. It's a steamer, uh, people, not for steaming your clothing. People do that too, right? It's not for steaming your pores or your uh, fine blouses, uh, should you have those in your closet. I don't got nothing in my closet. Uh, uh, for long life use, do not use sharp edged metal objects, utensils, okay, that makes sense. Uh, it also says, uh, bamboo steamer becomes hot once in use. Well, yeah, there you have it. Then it goes on and on and on to say, honest, I, I have to tell you, because it says uh, that you should uh, give it a couple of soakings in boiling water. Talk about things being hot. We recommend, it says, several... I know this is not a flattering angle. Amanda's going to tell me it's not a flattering angle. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not looking to get flattered. Uh, we recommend several cycles, three to four, of pre-soaking the steamer in boiling water prior to first use running steamer without placing food. Help remove some of the bitter wood-like taste. Wood-like? It's wood. It's, well, I guess it's wood-like. If it's bamboo, I guess that's wood-like. I don't know. It says soak it three to four times uh, in boiling water. Doesn't say anything about wash your hands with the boiling water. And then it says uh, it must be washed by hand and shouldn't be soaked in water for long. So I'm a little confused. So instead I decided to just rinse it in semi-boiling water while my, uh, while my uh, pan of water is heating up so I can steam my speedies. I don't know why she swallowed a fly, I'm just saying. Back so this is not what I would normally do uh, with my uh, speedy meat. This happens to be lamb. Uh, and the other one in the steamer is the chicken. I'm sure both will be very good, but I didn't want to mix them up because I'm steaming rolls to go with. So uh, 
Normally all of this is done on a skewer and grilled, but it was already done that way at Lupo's and I'm reheating, hence the steamer. So I'm just saying, it smells pretty good. No dishwasher, no microwave, no ironing machine. But we got, oh, we got steam people. We got steam. Just showing you the chicken steaming on the bamboo steamer. There it is. We've already discussed that. Uh, hello. It would appear that I somehow I've uh, screwed this up. I think I deleted the end of my, I don't know what I did. And now I'm gonna try and do just an audio voiceover, I think it's called in the business. Let's wrap it up. Uh, dinner was delicious. I don't know what to say. Uh, I think I have a picture of it. Dharma didn't get any of it because the Speedies, I have uh, a lot of flavor and I'm not sure all of them are for dogs. Uh, thank you, Jamie Schmeiser, uh, for bringing me Speedies from Lupo's. And yes, I will ask you to do it again. And uh, I appreciate it. It was a uh, Great way to kick off uh, the unofficial start of the summer season. I don't like the way I look, so I'm gonna try and make this just an audio only clip. Okay, wish me luck. And uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, uh, uh, tell your friends, share the videos, let Lupos know that we're thinking of them. Uh, okay, signing off live from uh, Norma Desmond's Catskills Retreat and Camp Fox, Jonathan Charles Fox, Dharma the Wonder Dog, like her on Facebook, follow her on Instagram, and if you want to, do the same to me. Okay, bye.